Well, hello, Denton. This is Jake Laughlin bringing you another episode of Discover Denton, the show brought to you by the Convention and Visitors Bureau, highlighting events around Denton. Now, every week we have Kim Phillips, Vice President of the Convention and Visitors Bureau, bringing you highlights of different Denton events, and every now and then she brings in a special guest. Well, this week we have a true celebrity on our show. If you've been reading the papers or following some of the blogs around town, you've probably heard the term Dentoning. And this week, we have in the studio the man who coined the term, Scott Campbell. So here is Discover Denton. Hello, Denton. This is Kim Phillips coming to you from the Denton Convention and Visitors Bureau. Welcome to Discover Denton. Today, we have a real special treat for you. One of my friends, Scott Campbell, is here. And we're going to talk about a term that most of you have probably seen or at least heard by now. It's the term Dentoning. It's kind of take on a life of taken on a life of its own. In fact, a couple of weeks ago, I was driving down Dallas Drive past the social media capital of the city of Denton, that being Frenchie's Trucks. And there on the side of Frenchie's Truck was Dentoning. And I realized it had become a permanent fixture as part of our Denton vernacular here. So let me tell you a little bit about Dentoning before I introduce Scott to you. Dentoning actually has a definition. If you want to follow along, check it out at Dentoning. Dot com. That is a blog, and it opens with the definition of what is dentoning. Now, let me be specific. Dentoning is actually an intransitive verb, okay? For all of you linguists out there, that'll be important. It's the experience of enjoying, discovering, exploring all that the great city of Denton has to offer. Number two definition is the discussion of pertinent, impertinent, fun, serious political subjects involving the great city of Denton or anything else that this particular blogger, being my friend Scott Campbell, wants to discuss. Number three, it's an event, occurrence, incident happening in the great city of Denton. Now, on point number two, it's anything Scott wants to discuss, but that's what's really cool about Dentoning, is that it has become something that all of us do at any given time. I was sitting at a meeting at City Hall last week, and somebody said on Facebook, I'm at City Hall at this meeting, and I responded, dentoning. And then several other people liked it because they realized, hey, yeah, we are. We're dentoning at a city meeting. So there are many applications to dentoning, and with that, I'm going to introduce Scott Campbell, the owner of the blog and the man who coined the term dentoning. Hi, Scott. Hey, Kim. Thank you very much for inviting me here. Tell us about dentoning. Where did the word come from? Well, that what the definition you gave is kind of a brief de definition. Um, the word came to me, uh, I don't know, a couple of years ago, I guess. I'd, I used to check in with Facebook and say I was officing because I kind of work away from the house and I can work wherever I want to. And I used to say I was officing all the time. And one day I thought, well, I've been bouncing around Denton for the past, you know, six hours, dentoning, it sounds good. So I came up with dentoning and it kind of stuck. It really works. Yeah. It's, <laughs> well, it's, it's descriptive. It tells what it is. So. I mean, you're a man who obviously loves this town. Are you from here? Did you grow up here? I came here in 63 when I was five years old. So I've been here a long time. I did leave for about 20 years, uh, came back during that time I was gone. I swore I'd never come back. But now that I'm back, I'll never leave. So I That's do love it. That's a lot it. of people's story, isn't it? It is. Yeah, a lot of people are coming back. So I, I love the city and everything about it. Well, tell us a little bit about what you do that is dentoning. When you say you're moving around the city for hours at a time, what all does that entail? What different worlds does it step into? Well, I mean, as most of you know, hopefully, um, Denton is just a, a really rich city. Uh, it's been around for 167 years, I believe, and we've got a really cool background in which to go dentoning with the unique structures like the courthouse and the, the square around the courthouse. I mean, that's kind of ground zero, and Pete Camp recently called it the living room of our town. So, you know, you kind of start uh, dentoning there. I look at starting at Jupiter House, for instance, in the morning grab a cup of coffee, see a bunch of the old timers and the locals and the new timers and the uh, Denton concierge, Jim Matherson, he's always sitting in front. If you have any questions, you can always talk to him about 
whatever you want to talk about or whatever he wants to talk about, but that might not be a good idea because you get off on a lot of tangents doing that. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, we, we've got so much going on in Denton with the theater, uh, music, just the people. Uh, we've got all the festivals that happen all the time, which can be incorporated into the pastime of Dentoning. And we just have a, an extremely rich environment to do it. Uh, you know, a lot of the towns surrounding us, I mean, you could have play knowing, I guess, or friskoing, yeah, but no, it, it really doesn't. They don't have the, uh, the infrastructure we do for doing this. So, Well, you say in your blog, when you're introducing the concept of Dentoning, the fact that Denton is the seventh grow fastest growing city mm -hmm. in the United States. Yep. And I know Denton County is... Denton County and Collin County, I believe, are the two fastest growing counties right. in the United States. And when you look at exponentially what will happen in this county with the number of people that will be here over the next 15 to 30 years, mm -hmm. you make a statement in your blog that I think is, um, is really imperative to understanding who we are and what we're about collectively. You say, and I quote, that Denton is the seventh fastest growing city in the U.S. When I first heard that, I thought, bummer, there goes our town. But Denton has undergone rapid growth in the past 25 years, and we've managed to maintain the small town feel and ambience we all love. And there's no reason that trend can't continue. And I think it's important that we go out of our way to make that happen. I mean, we have unique structures in town that uh, in recent days have kind of come under attack uh, I think a lot of that's being handled and we probably won't lose them but there are some really unique historic buildings that we need to be sure and keep I mean we can end up looking like Plano if we're not careful so uh, I think our city council knows some of the uh, commissions and uh, groups that report to our city government know that and I think they're going out of their way to make Denton uh, retain that that hometown feel and that small town feel and just the uniqueness and the the wonderfulness of Denton. Yeah, I do too. And the fact that we're a Main Street city, USA, mm -hmm. and the awards that we've garnered because our downtown is not, it's not faux, it's the real thing. Exactly. There's um, a reason for that. I mean, the reason we've won those uh, awards is because, for one thing, I think we have the coolest courthouse in Denton. I do too. I mean, you look at it and it's, it's just amazing. It actually is one of the most photographed courthouses in the state of Texas. Yeah. Yep. And there are other cool ones, but none, none like ours and none with the vibrance and the, the huge amount of things to do just right within a couple of blocks of there. Yeah, in fact, we tout the fact that there are more than 20 live music venues within walking distance of our square. Exactly. Not to mention what goes on on the lawn of exactly. our courthouse. Well, you could spend a whole day on the lawn, didn't you? Mm -hmm. I mean, bring a lunch. Uh, Saturday mornings, every Saturday morning, uh, is the Acoustic Lawn Jam, which has been going on for 20-something years, and it's a collection of, really a collection, whoever shows up that day with their guitar, banjo, uh, fiddle, piano. exactly, whatever, yeah, yeah thumb piano, <laughs> uh, and they just, it's like a picker circle, they just take turns saying, let's play that. this, uh, let's play that, and it's, it's a hoot. And you can get on, you know, get on the square, take a lunch, listen to them for a while, and watch people, which is, Denton's an awesome place for that, too. It is. We, we have, are diverse, aren't we? Well, we're <laughs> extremely diverse. We have some, I mean, people of all colors, races, uh, creeds, everything. And then we have some unique people. So it's, it's, yeah, it's a fun that's place. That's one of the things I love about it. Um, I've... I've worked in a number of cities doing what we do, which is promoting the city. And I've never been anywhere like Denton, where people's eccentricities and differences are embraced as exactly. part of the thing that makes our culture what it is. Yeah. You know, our whole original independent brand that we're using to, to promote the city of Denton, that's what it really is all about. Denton fits you, just like your favorite pair of jeans. But it also fits that guy over there like his favorite pair of jeans exactly. and her like hers. It's, it's unique to you. It's what you make it. It's what you need it to be. And collectively it makes us who we are. Yeah. And we, we get all the time. Oh yeah, this is like Austin used to be. And we're like, no, 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 no. We're everything Austin wishes it still, still was. was. Yep. 
because they've kind of lost themselves. They're they're like a little. There's still this little pocket of old Austin, but it's all almost drowned inside this silicone city, Austin. Exactly. That's developed all around it, and I think so far we're kind of all on the same page, from new Razor Ranch or new Denton Crossing or to to attaching ourselves even the development at golden triangle mall that's going on right Mm -hmm. now trying to attach to that same ambient feel that says we don't want to lose who we are even though we know we're going to grow and can't stop it exactly yeah well and that description you gave is is similar to denton itself it's it's like a puzzle i mean it's never the same and it's a puzzle you put together differently every time i mean you can start on the square you can walk down to uh, what is being called either the Grand Avenue or the um, Entertainment District and go to Dan's, uh, go to Fuzzy Taco, uh, Mellow Mushroom. And, and you know, it's, yeah, it's, it's all d- down there. Yeah, and it's different every time. So that's what's uh, beautiful about Denton and Dentoning. So are you a politician, Scott? I'm not a politician, no. I enjoy local politics, but yeah. I'm not a politician. Well, so what you're saying is you don't have to be a politician to enjoy the political aspects of Dentoning. Exactly, exactly. And there's a lot of things you can do and not be a politician and still be involved. So I enjoy that. I I helped run one of the recent uh, city council candidates campaigns, and that was fun. So I enjoy doing things like that. Well, and I think one of the things about Dentoning that I love is it calls people to become engaged. At whatever level, whatever interest that is for you, it might be the music scene, it may be art, it may be just the walkability and the Mm -hmm. vibrancy of our downtown and being able to basically live your entire life right downtown if you didn't want to go anywhere else. Exactly, and more and more people are doing that. And for some people it is politics, but the thing is, whatever it is, you can engage in it. And it's calling people out to do what that thing is, engage in local politics, engage in this local city center and become a part of it because everybody's welcome. Right. Exactly. And the beauty of Denton right now, the size it is, is that you can pick up a phone and call our mayor, our mayor pro tem, and they'll answer the phone Mm -hmm. and they'll talk to you. If you have a gripe or an idea or anything, uh, something you want to talk over, they're more than happy to talk to you and they'll you know, push you in the right direction or tell you, no, don't do that or whatever, but it, they're accessible. And that's the beauty of Denton as it is now. Yeah, it truly is. So folks out there, your idea of Dentoning, we'd love to hear from you. Scott's blog, Dentoning.com. You can actually talk to him about your idea of blogging and he'll help you promote that idea. Or you can actually write your own idea of, of, of blogging. Of, of dentoning and tell us what it is and either on dentoning.com or discoverdenton.com we'll share your blog we'd love to hear from you as far as what your idea of dentoning is or if you've never been dentoning go out give it a try because dentoning is all about experiencing this great place where we live do you have anything else you want to add scott well you just said if you haven't ever been dentoning i think probably everybody has been dentoning they just might not have known it uh it's being out there in denton and enjoying everything that is denton as you mentioned and when you do it i'd say don't get in a rut be creative with it tip your musicians and be kind to your fellow dentoners i like it yeah you're right about people not even realizing they've been doing it i think i actually have a blog post on my blog at discover denton um, that talks about when I first realized the the power of dentoning and and what it does to a person and how it affects you forever. It's an it's a forever altering change once you realize, wow, that's what I'm doing and this is how it makes me feel. No wonder people go dentoning. Mm-hmm. It's not just going to happy hour. It's not just getting together with friends. It's that, but it's way ramped up. Yep. And for me, that that whole, um, I don't know, that whole awakening actually happened in an undisclosed location <laughs> in someone's backyard at a group of musicians that organically came together around a campfire one night. Yep. Just a totally organic experience. And I realized this is dentoning at its finest. Not yep. long after that, I attended a, 
a funeral service that was anything but a sad occasion. This person's life was being celebrated to the nth degree. And I realized, wow, this is dentoning. I'm dentoning again, but in a completely different form. Now, I, yep. I, when I'm there, I'm there because I'm fully present in that Denton moment. I'll give you a similar example. I walked into Sweetwater one time out onto their deck. This was just a couple of months ago. And there was uh, white linen on the table and flowers and candelabra and a super nice setup. And I asked Karen Meredith, the owner, I said, what is going on? And she goes, well... Uh, Amy and John are getting married, and we're having the thing here. And I looked at it at Sweetwater's usually just, you know, the Pretty table casual. set up. Yeah, yeah extremely casual. Back. And all of a sudden, <laughs> there's this set up. And I said, Karen, this is dentoning right here. So it, it's spontaneous. It can be planned. It can be spontaneous. But it's, it's always fun. It's awesome. Thanks for being with us today, Scott. Thanks for having me, Kim. Everybody, get out and go dentoning. We'll see you next week. There you have it. That was this week's episode of Discover Denton. A big thanks to Kim Phillips of the Convention and Visitors Bureau. A huge thanks to our special guest, Scott Campbell. Another big thanks to Gravity Feed for providing the intro and outro music. Very big thanks to you guys. We have the best intro and outro music in all of radio. I'm Jake Laughlin, your host. Join us next week where we will be bringing you more highlights of our original and independent city. And in the meantime, go enjoy Denton.